A cross-party group of MPs which examines government spending says only a fraction of the money meant for levelling up has been spent. The ministers can't provide a compelling example of what the scheme has actually delivered. Well, let's talk live now to Sarah Earn, who's a Labour MP and a member of that Public Accounts Committee. Sarah, welcome here to the programme. Uh, the uh, committee said they were astonished by these findings. Just tell me why you were so surprised in terms of what you discovered here. Good evening. And yes, we uh, there were quite a few open mouths throughout the evidence sessions um, around levelling up, because given this was the government's supposed flagship policy, to hear that less than 10% of the funds have actually left um, the department's front door and to find out that projects were underway were actually just feasibility studies is pretty shocking. And it's a, a shocking use of public finances at a time when local government is crying out for that. 71 projects, though, were supposed to be shovel ready. So, so what has been the delay? What, what is the hold up here? We did question them about the delays on the shovel readiness of, of the projects. They had unforeseeable delays, they said, around planning permission, which we all pushed back and said should have been picked up at the application stage. But of course, as well, since then, we've had Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng and the economic decisions that they took, which meant that building costs were a lot higher, and as was borrowing. So that has affected some of the, the issues um, that we saw with projects going forward. But actually, it's not an excuse um, further down the line either. Reading the details, a tenth of the £10.5 billion has been spent, only a third handed out. I, I know your committee asked Michael Gove and the department to, to, to just bring forward examples of, of, of what they'd done and how they'd done it. What did they actually produce? They came forward with a handful of examples. I think choirs and very small projects in local areas and they will have impacts within that local community but there was no conversation as to whether that's exactly what the communities themselves wanted or would have prioritised and at the time when public finances are so stretched um, the is this when we had local authorities really stretched, probably around £30,000 each trying to put these bids in for, for, for levelling up bids and actually not always being successful, whether that was a useful um, way to spend public money. Click here for three hopefuls who might want to be the next Conservative leader.